Yesterday was International Overdose Awareness Day, a day of great importance in B.C. considering the toxic drug crisis that's resulted in a public health emergency being in place for nearly a decade. And for this day, the city of Terrace held an event that saw Skeeta Bulkley Valley MP Taylor Backrack attend to show his support. I'm here today at Overdose Awareness Day in Terrace, um, mostly to stand with the families who've lost loved ones in solidarity. We've lost far too many people in our region from the toxic drug crisis. And also to show my gratitude to the community organizations that are doing such important work. Um, and finally, to hear from people, to listen and to learn and to take what I hear back with me to Ottawa when the House of Commons starts sitting on the 18th. This day happened only a short time after the province released information saying that BC is on pace to set an overdose death record this year, in addition to the stat of around six people are dying per day due to ODs on average. Information that Backrack also gave his thoughts on. It's absolutely tragic, and we know that the death rate in this region region is among the highest in the province. Um, that's just completely unacceptable. So we need to do more to act, to save lives, to ensure that our loved ones are safe. Um, and there are things that we know are needed. One of the things we know is needed is uh, a dedicated detox treatment and recovery center right here in the Northwest. Backrack also mentioned that senior government officials need to step up and fund a detox center as soon as possible. As for the event, one of the main organizers of it was Mob Stop the Harb, an organization made up of Canadian families dedicated to preventing substance-related harm and deaths after they themselves were affected by it in some way. And one of the organization's members later gave a little more context to the event. So this is the third annual International Overdose Awareness Day uh, that we've come together as a community to um, put on and... Um, trying to build a active chapter of Mum Stop the Harm up here in Terrace, B.C. Yesterday was said to be one of the bigger turnouts this event has seen so far, and the hope for it is to grow bigger and eventually lead to changing drug policies and breaking the stigma of substance abuse. For CFTK TV News, I'm Kale Maslin.